Good day, everybody. Um, hope you all had a super Saturday. My Saturday was pretty, pretty epic, actually. Um, oh, what I did today was. Oh, hold on one second. I gotta turn this light off. Um, Uh, went to the America's Great Escape Game, and we, me and some other people from my connections at the drive, uh, went to try to escape uh, from a room, basically, at this place. It, there's a place down on I on International Drive, um, and they have like four or five different rooms, I think four. Or it might be the number. Different rooms and different number of people for different rooms. Or five. Yeah, five. Um, and. So the room we did was called the Pandemic. And so the theme of this, I mean, I've done this once before um, back at, I think, the end of August or early September, one or the other. Um. And we did the Tomb of King something. <laughs> um, and it was interesting, and we succeeded. It, would, it had a 9% success rate. And the group that I was with, consisting of three friends from the drive and four random people that were paired with us, we succeeded. We had an hour to get out, and we succeeded in, with, like, a minute left. <laughs> so it was close. Uh, this one we did was Pandemic, it has a 16% success rate. Um, so, in their eyes, based on their rating, um, or the, truly the success rate, it's easier than the other one, but, um, we had an hour, and we were unable to get out in time. We failed, and the storyline was, um, we become, we were trying to solve this pandemic to save the world, um, from this disease that's sweeping across the world. And we have to expose ourselves to try to figure out what other scientists or doctors or whatever were trying to figure out, but they died in the process. And so we're going in trying to figure out, pick up the pieces. But, so we go into this one room, and there are two elevator doors, one on each side, and we have to figure out how to open these elevators. Or these, it's not necessarily elevators, but sliding doors. Um... Because they didn't lead into elevators, they left led into other rooms, um, but they were elevator doors basically. Um, so at any rate, we took a little too long getting out of the first room, like almost half the time just to get out of the first room. Um, we used uh, we got you get three free clues, and we made we used our first two free clues on silly little mistakes. Um, the first clue will end up being something that I tried already, but I didn't try well enough. I didn't do it quite the right way, but I had the right idea. And so I went straight over as soon as we heard the clue, did it, boom, problem solved. Um, and then another one, we got to where we flipped the uh, black light on, and there was a message written on the wall in reverse, in mirror, uh, mirrored image. Um, so we read it once. And the black knight also revealed one other thing. So we get, we read it, then we went to the other thing. We we figured it out, but we turned the light on to see what was inside a box that we uh, were able to access because of that. And we forgot about the message on the wall. <laughs> and so our second clue was, look at the message on the wall again. So a couple of silly mistakes cost us a couple of free clues that may have been able to help us out later on. Bad, and we just kept going in the wrong direction and a couple of things. So, it, it was unfortunate, um, but, yeah. So, we didn't succeed, and we lost. We died um, from the disease. It reached our brain stem, and we couldn't live any longer, basically. Um, a lot of fun. i definitely do it again. Um, I actually saw... A um, a video 
um, from the same place that is the one that I want to do next time, basically. And the way this one works is it's it's team versus team. Up to eight people in teams of and two different, are split into two different teams. So you get a group of eight, you go four on one team, four on the other team. You're put in separate rooms, and you, have, you can communicate with, other, with, each other, with each other, I guess. You have to cooperate with and yet compete against the other group, the other team, and be the first one to a access the exit, I guess, or solve the puzzles that are in place or whatever. Um, and so it's interesting. You can have four people and go two versus two. You can have th six people and have three versus three, eight people, four versus four, whatever ones that work in there. Um, you, can have an, you can even have odd numbers probably. But the way this one works is instead of individuals paying their entry into the room and they fill the room up with people so that you have a full group, um, instead of doing that, this one, the way it works is it's $160 for the room and you split the cost between the number of people you have. So eight people means it's only $20. So if you can get eight people to go, then that's the cheapest option there. If it if those numbers are accurate, which they should be from what I heard. Um, I don't know why it would be up any information up there that wouldn't be accurate like that. So a lot of fun. A lot a lot of fun. I definitely highly recommend it. So what's gonna happen now is um I came home, chilled a little while, spent some time. There was a party that someone from the drive was kind of throwing at the, at, their, at his house. And so I was invited. A lot of the Mafia people were invited to it. So we figured Mafia was probably going to happen at it. Um, Jesse and Heather decided they wanted to go to it too because Jesse was invited. Um, and so um, I rode down with them. We carpooled. And we went and we hung out for a little while. Um, I met some new people, some friends of his that didn't go to the drive um, that were there. Um, then we went out back. He had built this little bonfire and roasted some people more some marshmallows. Uh, we just stood around outside and talked about random things. A lot of Disney discussion for some reason. Talking about different things at Disney. Um, the mole came up. Uh, one of the guys that were the escape room showed up and we started talking about the escape room again and his desire to actually put together a kind of escape room or something like that and um, yeah, it was a lot of fun a lot of good discussions and then we finally did what a lot of people were just waiting to happen we went inside and we played Mafia yay um, and we went late into the night, so we played three games total. Um, we started, like, around 11, 11.30. So the first game was truly on Saturday. And the second game was actually on Sunday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about the first game, recap it, basically, and then close the vlog. And then for tomorrow's vlog, I'm going to tell you about my day, then backtrack to the start of the day and... Um, tell you about the other two Mafia games. So, let's go ahead and start. In this particular game of Mafia, um, let's see, who was the moderator? Alright, so this one girl was the moderator, and we were, we were revealing roles, uh, there were, honestly I don't remember the numbers now, I think 13 or 14 of us starting out, and a lot of them were newer players that hadn't played, either with us or at all. And so what wound up happening was I was the Mafia. I was the, one of the Yakuza's. Um, as it turned out, there were three Mafia. Jesse, myself, and another guy. The guy, actually, that was, went to the escape room with me. Um, and the three of us were Mafia. And um, he was the Yakuza, I was the Yakuza, Jesse was a godfather. And so what happened was, uh, during the first night, we strike someone. And cops investigate. Nurse saves. We were let. We were told before the game, and not everyone heard this, but um, that there were four mafia, two cops, two nurses, and a Batman. Um, it was then revealed 
first thing in the morning that there was in fact only th three mafia, not four. She'd miscounted, which since I was mafia, I figured that out at night when we got into that step. So, um, we killed someone, Batman struck. We didn't take the time to explain that Batman doesn't have to strike every time, and it's a good idea to wait, because you're just basically guessing randomly. Um, so maybe you shouldn't kill the first night. Uh, someone presented this, um, in kind of a question, because she wasn't sure, and as a result, gave away that she wasn't Batman, basically. Um, so Batman's first victim was actually Jesse randomly chooses to kill the Godfather. Probably the best strike, the best move he could have made. <laughs> and it was just worked perfectly. Um, then we're going through the cycle of the day, the things that happened during the day, and um, this person, the same one who was asking about Batman, basically ruled out the fact that she was not, Bat ruled out the fact that she could be Batman. She was in fact not Batman, definitely not. Um, came out and gave a clue to our identity because we were starting to go after her. Um, and she said that she was an important role in town. And then someone pre pressed her a little bit more and she goes, um, I'm someone that, um, my position or my role, sometimes you can find some corrupt people and sometimes you don't. And it's like, boom, she's a cop. <laughs> and so we knew right away she was a cop, um myself, and the other Mafia that was still alive. We both did. And then, someone else starts going after her. And I'm I'm like, she just basically told everyone she was a cop. Um, and so I always try to play as a townsperson. So, after hearing her say she was the cop, I then defend her and say, we shouldn't go after her. I heard her defense. I don't know if you guys heard it. I don't want to mention too much because I don't want to give anything away. Again, perfect thing to say if you're on the town side. And so it's also the perfect thing to save your mafia, especially if your mafia partner is just as aware as you are that she is in fact the cop. Um, because <coughs> you don't have to get that message across to them because you know they know too. So they're going back and forth, these two people. And so we wound up going after her and letting it slide. Nobody wanted to get rid of her. Um, and then we went after the other person, the one that was going after her. Um, I led the charge in that particular one. Because, I, like I said, I, I was going with the role. The assumption everyone was making of me, hopefully, was that I thought she was innocent, an important role that we shouldn't go after. And because the other person went after her, um, she looks guilty, suspicious. Um, in fact, we were, we were. her defense was, I'm an important one in town. And so, since they're going after each other, they're not the same role. But they're both important roles in the town. What that tells us is... Since she's the cop, she has to be the nurse. Uh, we do make one mistake, which is uh, that night, oh, she survives the lynching. I think we wind up going to sleep without lynching anyone. We try like three or four different people, though. I don't remember specifically who. Um, but everyone survives, so I think we go to sleep without lynching anyone. <coughs> and the other mafia, Yakuza, decides now's the time to strike. And so I'm thinking, alright, you're striking, and he strikes and he hits the person that we figured is the nurse, because the other one's the cop, so she's the nurse. So he strikes the nurse. Everyone was just convinced she was innocent, so... And these are a lot of inexperienced people, basically. I realized right after he does it, he shouldn't have done that, because there are two nurses. What that means is when the nurse wakes up this time, there's only going to be one nurse waking up, and the first night there were two nurses waking up. So, it just so happened that the least experienced player, the one person who had never played any Mafia ever before, was the other nurse, and missed the thing, missed the catch. The ability to throw everything under the bus and um, take out the last Mafia. Um, unfortunately, morning came, Batman struck, and killed me. My plan was to get everyone to go after the cop, because the cop would be an obvious choice to be turned by the Yakuza. Um, so I was going to, like, we'll get rid of her, and then I'll use my power and put it on the next most experienced player. What was my plan? But Batman killed me. So I didn't get to do any of that stuff. I didn't get to hand off my power. I probably should have. Didn't get to. So literally we're down to one Mafia left. But it's the one person everyone was just convinced was innocent. What follows is a beautiful thing where a town and Batman, Batman randomly kills people again. It was random for Jesse. It was random for me. He had no idea we were Mafia. 
but he went after us. And so, dominoes started falling. Town would lynch, they would lynch a townsperson, and then Batman would kill a townsperson, and they'd lynch another townsperson, and Batman would kill a townsperson, or Batman killed, um, and Mafia would kill as well at night. Um, and so obviously Mafia's first kill, as the only one left standing in the former nurse, would be to kill the other nurse, who should have said something, but didn't. So, just in case he realizes he should have. Um, she takes out the other nurse first. Boom, problem solved. Um, I think Batman strikes, takes out the other cop, who was uh, Jesse's wife, Heather. I think, yeah, she was. Um, and it's just like, domino, domino. So there's no nurses, no cops, just random townspeople. Lynch one, Batman kills one, Mafia kills one. And it gets down to where we get to the final two, and Mafia wins the game. I don't know how it worked. It was crazy, because two Mafia were killed the first two nights. Uh, actually, all three original Mafia were killed before the start of the second day. So it was just insane that that happened. But Mafia won. And then it was right around midnight at this time. So I'm going to close up this vlog, uh, get it uploaded. And, I mean, obviously I'm wearing this because uh, today's actually Sunday, Sunday evening. I didn't get a chance because I got back so late to film this clip from Mafia. So I'm going to get this one uploaded, and then I'll be back a little bit later to... Um, give you guys my recap of my Sunday and the other two games of Mafia that we played. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my um, kind of analysis slash recap of both the escape game Pandemic Room and um, and this first game of Mafia that we played last night. So, good night everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.